Hey, what's up guys? It's Cytex City here, back again with another video. This time bringing you guys a wireless mini soundbar. Uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker from a company called Avantry. So a huge shout out to professionals at Avantry for sending this out for review. So without further, de further delay, let's get right into it. So this is the packaging that it comes in. Wireless mini soundbar. We got some 3D sound stereo sound, three different sound modes, I'll get more into that later. Universal compatibility. And on the top we have some more information, three sound modes. We have balanced audio, dynamic bass, cinema sound, up to 10 meters of uh, Bluetooth signal, and output of two five watt speakers. So on the side, we get some contact information if you need any help. On the back, we get some more specifications, features, and the contents of the box. Nothing special. On the other side, we get some devices that are compatible with this speaker. So let's get right into the speak, uh, the unboxing. I already unboxed this, of course, but I'm doing this again to show you guys what's inside. So we get the speaker itself. When you first buy it, it'll be wrapped in plastic packaging, so it'll be protected from uh, scratches. And also in the box, we get this small box of accessories and user manuals. So, to show you what's in the smaller box, we first get this gold-plated uh, audio cable. It's gold-plated, so that's going to bring you better audio quality. This is about 30 to 40 centimeters long, so not too long. Um, but again, this is a powerful speaker, so you're probably going to want to place this in your living room or somewhere not too far away from the audio source. So this is good length for me personally. You also get a support card. You can contact those um, emails if you need help for anything with the speaker. And some manufacturer's warranty information. Not too important. Some more, more um, advertising. Join the Avantry com community. Marketing fund for user experience. Uh, we also get a user's manual. Uh, here if you... There's, I'm going to demonstrate everything in here in this video, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that. We also get a micro USB cable for charging the speaker. So let's have a look at the speaker itself, because that's what you mostly want to see in this video. So there's the Avantry Torpedo itself. As you can tell right off the bat, the speaker looks very sleek and modern. It screams quality from the all-black flush look to the subtle curve that's present on the top of the speaker as you can see. And you can see how the speaker just takes the shape that's a combination of a triangular prism, as you can see, and a torpedo, hence the name of the speaker, Avantry Torpedo. So you can actually use the speaker in its horizontal orientation, as you can see here, or its vertical orientation. It's kind of hard to make it stand on carpet, but as you can see, you get the idea. And there are actually two suction legs here, one here and one here, to stick to the surface that it's placed, placed on. And from my experience, it does it pretty well, and it prevents the speaker from moving around too much or slipping. So there are two sections on the speaker. Uh, the larger section is where the dual speakers, uh, the 5 watt speakers live, as well as the subwoofer right in the middle here that produces the bass, of course. The dual speakers are located on the left and right, as I told you, and the subwoofer lives in between. So on the right here is where the battery of the speaker lives, and this section is made of soft touch plastic. Now, I'm a huge fan of soft touch plastic, and it's no exception here. This is much better than the shiny plastic that's often used in cheaper products. And there's also a LED indicator that flashes red, green, or blue right here. Uh, in pairing, um, red, green, or blue. So in pairing mode, uh, the LED flashes red and blue alternatively. I'll show you that later. The LED also functions to tell you which mode the speaker is in. There are three modes in the speaker, balance mode, super bass mode, and 3D mode. So to demonstrate those, let me just quickly um, turn it on. As you can see, it's been paired with my uh, MacBook. 
but my MacBook is so, having some Bluetooth problems right now, so I'll just use my aux cable provided in the in the with the speaker. So I have connected it, and it it um, flashes a constant blue, red, or green to show you which mode it's in. As you can see on the back, we have the power button, aux cable, uh, aux port, uh, the micro USB port for charging it, and the reset hole. And this also flashes a uh, has a red LED in it that is turned on when when you're charging it and turns off when you're done charging it. So using the power mode there, you can change the LED and change the mode. Now, first, this is the super bass mode. Now, I understand that the super bass mode is supposed to be the mode where there is overpowering bass, like that <clears throat> sound. That was my impression of a bass. For inducing that sense of excitement or getting turned up at parties or simply for satisfying bass lovers in general. As much as I do appreciate those, this mode, I have a problem with it. And the problem is that the bass sounds quite cheap due to the buzzing noise produced in the super bass mode. So to demonstrate that, let me just quickly um, turn on a song here. Um, as you can see, I mean here, the bass. It's less present when it's on carpet or a soft surface, so I'm going to place it on this box here. As you can see there, the I don't know if you can notice on camera, but the bass has a slight buzzing noise, which kind of annoys me personally um, that's why I don't use this mo mode often however this buzzing noise can be reduced by placing the speaker on a soft surface like the carpet here um, like a, or a cushion or a sofa for the buzzing noise to be absorbed by the material but then again this isn't a permanent solution and I hope Avantry really fixes this in the future uh, in their future products so the next mode that comes on the speaker is called the 3D mode. That's the blue LED right there. And this is supposed to emulate the stereo speaker sound effect by playing sound through the left and right si uh, leftmost and rightmost side of the speaker to really um, give you that 3D effect. So for this mode work to work, the speaker needs to be in its horizontal orientation and it works best when the speaker is directly in front of you. However, this mode does actually emulate the 3D effect quite well, um, even from a far distance to the listener. So let me turn on the same song in super bass mode and switch over to the 3D mode. Back to the super bass mode, 3D mode. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that really emulates the 3D effect sound well, and I do appreciate this mode. Now finally, we have the balanced mode, and this is my favorite mode of all, as it does not overpower the loads, lows, mids, and highs, and the sound is very neutral. And every instrumental sound, vocal, and bass are just on point, and are able to be clearly distinguished. There is ever so slight emphasis of bass here as well, but I personally do like that extra kick in the bass, so the balanced mode is perfect for me. So the verdict of this speaker. I believe that the speaker, as it is, is quite a capable speaker. For $60, you're getting a very attractive speaker with great sound quality and some great modes, so functionality. Um, with some drawbacks, of course. Now those drawbacks being the problem with the buzzing noise in super bass mode, um, that's pretty much it. And if that issue were to be fixed, this speaker would definitely be worth every dollar of your $60 um, spent. So that was my review of the Avantry wireless mini soundbar known as the Avantry Torpedo. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.